Revo email marketing tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. So if you're looking to get started with email marketing on Brevo, we're going to jump right in and we're going to cover everything that you need to know. Now to get started with Brevo, you can get started with their free plan where you can send upwards of 100 emails per day. You have customizable email templates, a drag and drop editor, as well as transactional emails, SMS and WhatsApp campaigns. And the best part about using Brevo with their free plan is that you can choose to upgrade as you need more features. So I have created my account and you can just click on sign up over here to get started with your registration with your email address. Once you have signed up, you will be led to your homepage on Brevo. Now in Brevo, you're going to see once you create your account in your homepage, you're going to have a dashboard, but when you have a new account, there really isn't a lot of things, you know, a lot of stuff to report. So your dashboard is going to be pretty empty. Now, next up is your most important section on the left panel, which is your contact section. Now, in your contact section, you have a few different subsections, including lists, segments, forms, settings, and then landing pages can be created, but these are a premium feature on Bravo. Now, before we get started with creating our contacts, it's very important to know the difference between a list and a segment. So segments are based upon behaviors. So let's say that a customer is frequently opening up your marketing emails. That is a behavior and I can create a segment that might be listed as people that have opened up my last three emails. And that is a specific segment. People might come in and out of that segment depending on whether or not they are displaying that behavior. Whereas if I was to create a list, a list is a very specific number or a very specific list of people that is not going to be altered based on their behavior. So if I have a list of my contacts, which are my VIP contacts that have spent over $1,000 with my store or my services, I can just put them in a list and I would manually have to add more contacts as I go. Now, these are the two differentiations between segments and lists, and once we have a basic understanding, we can go back into contacts and start adding our contacts. Now, there are two ways that you can add your contacts. Either click on create a contact on the top right, or you can click on import contacts to add contacts from any pre-existing platform via a file. So, you can copy a CSV file, XLS file, or TXT file. You can also choose to import from another tool or copy and paste from a spreadsheet. However, if you don't have your contact already, you can just click on create contact over here and you can get started with entering your contact just manually. So let's say I have one contact like this and I can just insert their email. Then after that, I can create a new list, which is going to be marketing subs. And then this is going to be in my first folder and I'll click on create and I'll just click on create over here. And just like that, we have created a simple contact. Now you can click on view the contact details to open up a detailed version of the contact. You will see any subscription list that they are inserted into, any lists that you have inserted them, then the number of email campaigns you have sent to them, the ones that were delivered, unique openings and unique clicks. You also have one-on-one -on -one interactions and contact updates listed. On the top right, you also have files, meetings, and deals that you can schedule. So if you have a meeting or you have a particular deal with this particular contact, they're not just a contact for email marketing, you can insert those over here. Now, once we've done that, we can go on to our next section, which is forms. Because for anyone to be able to send out emails for email marketing, they need to have a subscription form on their website, on their booking scheduler, or any type of platform that they are using online. So to build your own contact form for registration, click on create subscription form under forms. Once you do that, you're going to name your form. So this is going to be our registration form. And after that, I am going to click on next. Once I do that, I can get started with the design. So on the top, we have the title. And after that, we have the text, image, divider, and then the field. Now, this is the basic title, which I'm going to change to subscribe to our newsletter like this for a 15% site-wide discount like this. And I'm going to reduce the font size of this a little. 
like so and i have the colors and i'm going to set it to a dark black after that we have another little text section which i'm going to delete below that we have enter your email address to subscribe now below that we have our attribute list where we are going to enter the email address you can also choose to display more fields this is just one attribute we can go on ahead open up the list of attributes and we have email this is text last name first name click on add new attribute so let's say you also want to know maybe their secondary email so you can choose to add that as an attribute as well and then later on you can insert those attributes over here so you will see in your fields you have your attributes multi-list sub single choice gdpr fields and other sections you can click on form design over here on the left to customize the design of your form so for example if i want to change the background color i can do that from here like this let's say i want it to be a gray color so i'll just select this darker gray like so you can also customize the container as well as all other physical appearances of the form that you are creating so i want rounded corners i can add those over here like this and then we have the opacity of our particular block we have the size alignment and coloring any alerts spacings and buttons that we have inserted now below that you can click on next if you're satisfied with your form and once you do that you can go on ahead and choose a list to which this form should be applicable to so what this basically means is that when someone fills out this particular form which list should they be added to you usually should create a simple list which is going to be considered your all list so this would be a list of all of your subscribers so we're going to click on this list over here and click on next after that you have a confirmation section so an email containing a double opt-in link will be sent and subscribers would be added only after they reconfirm their subscription from their email address. So we are going to send a default template and we can send them to a confirmation page as well. And I will click on continue. I'll click on next for the success message. And now we have a HTML code, a simple HTML and a iframe code as well that we can just copy and paste and insert that into our website. Now, once we have created our list segments, contacts and forms, we can get started with building our emails. Now you have two sections for building emails. You either have campaigns or you have automations. Automations are basically a advanced version of campaigns where you can automate a certain process that a customer goes through. So if someone subscribes via our form, they would be led to a discount page and that discount page, if they purchase something, they get a thank you email. If they don't purchase anything, they get a reminder email so on and so forth you can build different automations there are some automation templates available as well that you can use to make your setup a bit easier now we're going to go into campaigns and go into email campaigns and click on create an email campaign now you have two different types of email campaigns you can create either an a b testing campaign or a regular one an a b testing campaign usually changes one variable so let's say i change the background color of my email and see which one performs better and then you can use the one that performs better to the rest of your audience now this is just going to be a simple welcome campaign and i'll click on create campaign over here once i do that i have the option to select the sender so your sender status is going to be from your own email address and the name that you want to display. Let's say my display name is going to be Meraki Co, which is the business name. And I'll click on save over here. After that, you can add a recipient. So I'll click on add recipient over here. And I want to send this to everyone that falls in my subscriber list. Then I'll click on save over here and move to my subject line. Keep in mind that the subject line actually shows up whenever people open up their inbox. So your subject line usually should be very interesting. So welcome to Meraki Co. Oh, and I'm going to use AI to improve this message. Usually they are going to just make it, I want it to use power words and I want it to just copy this. I'll just click on use this and I'll just use this. And then I have a preview text, a special discount awaits you like this once i do that i can click on save and i can get started with my email content 
So click on start designing over here and you can get started with a simple layout from their template gallery or you can even create your own templates and take a look at some of your previous campaigns for inspiration. I think I'm going to go with a default template and I'll click on use template over here. You can also choose to get started from scratch if you want to customize the appearance completely. So first off, we have our logo, but I don't have a logo for my business, so I'm just going to rename this into Meraki Co. And then after that, we have an image and I will click on replace over here and upload a brand image. So we're just going to be uploading this image over here and I'll click on insert. Once I do that, I can also choose to customize the width, add rounded corners, insert from a URL, and then you also have your alignment, spacing, and then borders. Now, once I have inserted the image, I am going to just add some simple text, which is going to be welcome to Meraki's team. And after that, I'm just going to add a little bit of text, which might be a discount. A discount of 15% will be applied to any one product with code AA15% on our website or whatever kind of value that you are providing with subscription, you can add that. Below that, we have a call to action button and I'm going to change this to shop now. And then you're just going to hyperlink your website link. So this is a simple button. And on the left, you have your button settings, the writing direction, layouts and spacing. And then you can click on these three dots, save, show, or hide this button as well. Below that, you have a simple footer that has your address of the business that you have inserted on Brevo. It's going to add that address over here. And then after that, you have a unsubscription and Brevo marketing brand. After that, you can just click on save and quit and your email marketing campaign is now ready to be sent. After that, you can click on additional settings and add personalization, personalize the send to field, use sending and tracking options, subscriptions as well, as well as design customization as well. Once you have completed your setup, click on schedule on the top right and you can schedule this for now, later, or to choose to send at the best time. So in this way, you can get started with email marketing on Brevo. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.